All right, guys, another week down, another Herps of Maryland episode. Today, we have, here we go, if I can get them to calm down a little, a Fiedris estivus. This is the rough green snake. Let me back up a bit. So, this one's a male, and uh, these guys are kind of cool. They're arboreal, but they have killed scales, and that's not really too common. They also have a very long tail. These guys, they're, uh, in this one, the vent, is right here. So the tail is all this, over a third of the snake's body, and that's pretty unusual. These guys are uh, fairly common, but they are hard to find. See if I can get them a little closer. Get a get your nice headshot here, buddy. And let's look at those keeled scales. So this is an adult. They get anywhere from 20 to 33 inches long. Uh, they mate in the spring common stuff, but these females, the uh, females of these guys do something kind of neat. They have uh, multiple snakes laying clutches of eggs together. If you're lucky enough to find a cache of their eggs, you might find eggs, and they lay anywhere from 3 to 10. A uh, really big clutch could be 12. Very skinny, long eggs. But you might find eggs from four or five different females in the same burrow in the same hollow of a tree, rotting log. They lay their eggs in pretty much any normal normal place for a snake to lay eggs. Are you checking out the camera? Well, one of the reasons these guys are so hard to find, I did say they, uh, they're arboreal, so there might be quite a few of them in the area, but unless you're, you're going halfway up a tree, you're probably not going to see them as often as a lot of the other snakes. So these guys are very cool, um, very convenient find, because I actually haven't seen one in years. Let me try to focus the camera. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting the camera to focus properly. There we go. They have a pretty interesting diet too. These guys eat bugs, all kind of bugs. They'll take on spiders. Uh, their favorite is uh, caterpillars. They will go crazy for caterpillars. But pretty much any little thing that they can chase down and swallow whole, they don't constrict or anything like that. They just start biting, start working the mouth up over the prey item, and if they can fit it in their mouth, they're going to eat it. This one has a nice yellow, uh, sometimes their, their venter side is cream colored. This one's got a nice yellow to it. I love those keeled scales. Well, that will pretty much do it for this episode. We'll uh, be back next week to continue Herps of Maryland.